Good morning. Thanks for joining me again for another guided meditation. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. And if you were with me last week, welcome back. Uh, so just like last week, we'll do a little bit of intentional breathing at the beginning just to help us relax and get centered. And then I'll lead you through about five to 10 minutes of a guided meditation. Um, so over the past couple of weeks, I keep coming across this idea that part of what we're experiencing right now is a form of grief. Um, so that could be on an individual level or it can be more on the collective level. Uh, and that could be in more of the traditional sense of the word. So if you have recently lost somebody and you're working through that, or it could be more of the abstract interpretation. If there was something that you were really excited to attend that was canceled, if it's a job, um, if it's just a lifestyle loss in general, um, anything that has been derailed by this current situation. Um, and then there's also this idea of anticipatory grief. So it's the time before the loss when we're all kind of bracing for it and there's not much that we can do to really prevent it. Um, so all of these different kind of ideas floating around that I personally have found helpful and I thought maybe some of you would too. Um, so today we're gonna focus on building resilience and coping with the various feelings that are all kind of wrapped up in the grieving process. Um, and just do a little bit of calming breathing along the way. So before we start, um, find your way to a comfortable seat. And so that doesn't have to be on the floor like I am. It can be on a couch in a chair. You could be lying down if that's more comfortable. Wherever you wanna go, just take a few seconds to let things settle. And then if you're comfortable, closing your eyes. If that's not comfortable, just soften your focus so that you're not gonna be distracted by anything that might come into your line of sight. And from there, you can take a little bit of movement. So that could be neck circles. Could be rolling out your shoulders or rocking your weight. Any kind of movement that's going to help you release any tension that you might be holding on to physically. And then let these movements start to get smaller. And eventually settle into stillness. And then bringing your attention to your breath. So without changing anything about it at first, just notice what your baseline is this morning. the depth of your breath, the pace, any thoughts or feelings that you would use to describe it. And slowly start to lengthen your breath without forcing anything. Notice the coolness of the air as it enters your body, either through your mouth or through your nostrils. And the warmth of the breath as it exits your body. And either keep your focus here at the very start and the very end of the breath, or take it one step further and start to notice what part of your body responds to the breath next. So that could be your throat, your chest, your shoulders, your ribs, your belly, your back. It's a little different for everyone, so start to tune in to your body's response to the breath. Notice if your body softens to allow the breath or if it braces to restrict the breath, it holds it out. And I find it can be helpful to place a hand on your body where you wanna soften tension or direct your awareness and spend a few rounds just breathing into your hand. That's totally optional if you wanna try it. And 
Continue as you are for a few more slow, steady inhales. And slow, steady exhales. As you breathe, I invite you to repeat this phrase either out loud or silently to yourself. In this moment, I embrace my grief. I know that I am not my grief. And dealing with any kind of loss can be uncomfortable. But if we ignore our sadness or our anger or whatever else comes up, it's much harder to find our way through it. So as we start to think about the grieving process, if it becomes overwhelming at any point, know that you can come right back here, focus on your breath. And so as you sit here and continue to breathe, let yourself think about all of the things that you're grieving here. So nothing is too big or too small. Nothing is too old or too new to consider. There's no loss that's too insignificant or silly to grieve. And so you might have a few things come up that are obvious to you that you were expecting. And there might be a few things that take you by surprise. So just take your time here and notice what calls for your attention. As you give yourself the space here, notice if your body is reacting. If any gentle movement like we did at the start would help to ease this physical tension. Notice any changes in your breath. And if your throat is constricting, you can try softly humming or sighing out on your exhales. Continue as you are for a few more slow, steady inhales. And slow, steady exhales. And continue focusing on your breath or I invite you to repeat these phrases with me. In this moment, <clears throat> I embrace my sadness. I know that I am not my sadness. In this moment, I embrace my anger. I know that I am not my anger. In this moment, I embrace my pain. I know that I am not my pain. In this moment, I embrace my grief. I know that I am not my grief. And take a few more rounds of slow breathing using any movement or any kind of exhale that's helpful. And you can keep your hands where they are. You can bring them to your heart. Feeling the gentle rise and fall of your breath. Maybe even feeling the beat of your heart. Knowing that grief is unique to all of us, how we experience it, but it's also universal. 
And at this moment in particular, your grief is a unique part of the communal grief. And it's okay to feel it in whatever form it takes. It's okay to set it down when you need to. And it's okay to let it go when you're ready. So I invite you to pause the video. Feel free to sit here for as long as you need or want to. And if anything came up that you find it would be helpful to journal about or talk to somebody about, I invite you to do that as well. And thank you very much for joining me this morning and I hope you have a good rest of the day.